Hey everyone, just wanted to show you my aquaponics setup. I've talked a little bit about this in some of my videos and I'm just going to give you a bit of an overview today. So the way this works is it's made out of an IBC. So these are like uh, liquid storage containers that you can pick up fairly cheap there are a thousand liters in capacity and um, this is what you call a I think they call it chop and flip something like that. and basically what I've done is cut the bottom here there's different methods of doing it some people keep these this is the base that would usually sit on the bottom of the container down here um, so I've chopped it near the bottom and then chop the top of the lid as you can see that lid is upside down the writing there so that was the top and use a pallet or you don't have to use a pallet you can use anything really to keep that sat on top and some people will keep these on the bottom as a support but I've never had any problems with leaking and I've had this set up for more than two years. We've got um, the way you usually set up for media is with these clay rocks, clay balls. So they're like an inert media that's highly porous. And you can, there is different methods for aquaponics, and I'm sure you guys can go check that out. Um, ebb and flow. This one is just a, a complete. Um, flood system so it's just constantly draining and constantly pumping up into here and it remains flooded which may not be ideal for certain types of plants um, but for a lot of leafy green stuff it's great and I mean look this is all um, celery so we just put some celery in from the shops let it go to seed, it's, re it's reseeded the bed and it goes absolutely crazy. Tomatoes go crazy in here, but tomatoes prefer a, a drain system where they can get more oxygen. So what happens with our tomatoes is they don't develop a very tough skin and can um, get bug problems. But yeah, leafy greens, lettuces, um, there's heaps of stuff you can do with a system like this and you can see like the celery is going insane. We don't actually really harvest this celery that much. At the moment I've just been using this as a method of filtering the water for the fish and focusing more on the fish. And the fish are getting pretty big as you can see. They're pretty much ready for harvest some of these. and. These are silver perch, so you can keep them through winter and summer. They tolerate a wide range of temperatures and they grow to about, well, I mean, the, the eating sort of standard is around 30 centimeters. I've yet to actually harvest one and should be doing that fairly soon. So you buy them as little fingerlings, they call them, or they're around an inch or two, and they should grow up within a year or two to table size and what I do I've had added this here as a way of so it's just a pond and you know you don't really want to add um, dechlorinator like you do with your fish tank because that's not good to eat so if you're gonna eat the fish or eat the vegetables you don't want to be adding that dechlorinator so the problem you have, especially in summer, is that the water evaporates very quickly and the plants take up that water. You need to add back water. Uh, and one method of getting rid of chlorine in your water is to just let it sit out in the sun. So something like this is perfect where you can just fill it up from the hose and then pump it straight into the tank as you need to. Um, but yeah, guys, so... And you see my chooks over here as well. We've got about five chooks that live out, out here all the time, giving us eggs. 
But yeah, if you've got any questions, shoot them through about aquaponics. I would love to add more in time. Might add another IBC and be good to get the plants going again, like ones that we actually eat. A lot of these end up just going to the chooks and I just constantly pull on these. And that just grows so quick, the chooks love it. Alright guys, 